Man, oh man, here we go again, guys. We are back with some second channel action. And today, we gotta do a little maintenance on the old tow pig, the old towing machine, the old six liter, uh, zero per miles per gallon per meter uh, machine, because that 6 truck does not, is, it is not known for gas mileage, I'll tell you that much, holy cow. Uh, I try to drive it once a week, and I try to chew somewhere very close. That way I ain't got to put... I, it only cost me half a tank of gas instead of a full tank of gas. Because, uh, man. Anyhow, this is not about gas mileage, guys. This is about oil changes. Uh, it popped up and said oil change due. And I don't know when it ever had one. Because it ain't had one since I bought it. Uh, so we need to put some oil. Or do an oil change on it. Which would be nice with our lift. If we had the stuff to do that. But I ain't got the stuff to do that. So we need to... Find us one of them whoop, drain things that you roll around underneath the lift. The drain pan on with the lift kit or whatever. Uh, but we don't need that. We can still change the oil on the floor like a man, okay? We went from changing oil in the rocks to oil on concrete. So what's another oil change on some concrete? Uh, it don't scare me. Mama didn't raise no punk. Uh, the other thing we got to do is one of the very few things that was actually wrong with that truck since I bought it. The driver's side rear door window the motor works i think but it don't go up and down i think it just needs a regulator in there my butt's vibrating my butt's yeah it, it's who is it hello oh boy oh took care of that phone call uh we're gonna do a little maintenance on the truck uh that's the window that hot rod sits next to and she is not a fan of her window not being able to go up and down so we better get that lined out before she gets me lined out, if you know what I mean. Uh, and then on top of that, let's see. I've got to go buy a paint place today at some point. Me and my wife got to decide a color on one thing. I was supposed to do that about three weeks ago, and here we are. Uh, so that has to happen today. Uh, we do got a couple things we could put up around the shop. Someone sent out this really cool Buick sign. Uh, he had it rolled up in a box. So as you can see, I'm flattening that out. We got a vice that could be mounted. We're just gonna uh, we're gonna focus on the truck at first, uh, knowing that at some point, probably around lunchtime, we'll just go to get paint. That way, we can grab lunch and paint, or a paint color, and then whatever else we can get done on this beautiful day right now. Uh, that's what we'll get did. Uh, I have put on my list gas and electric, and that's because I have got to remember to get with both them companies to figure out what we got to do to get gas back to our AC units back here. They're heat and air. We got to get gas to them. And I got to, we're going to have to get a bigger service when we add on to the shop. So yes, it's nice to add on. Yes, it's nice to get heat and air, but yes, it does open up another can of worms of a lot of crap going on behind the scenes to keep this machine moving forward and operating. Uh, Let's go ahead and pull the truck in. That way the oil can be cooling. And then we'll look at the window regulator, whatever, taking that apart. I may have to watch a YouTube video, guys, because I did one on our Yukon, but it's been about six years. I don't quite remember how, how it goes. Good old Toe Pig Sally. You've been chosen to be on the price is wrong. Come on down. What in the spider web? Spider-Man done attacked my back glass, y'all. He done quick, 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 skated the back window and put a leaf in it. Now, something else I'd like to fix is this. And I, I know you're thinking, just pop that sucker back together. Well, I have, and all it does is pop itself back apart. When I go to start this thing, it looks like I'm trying to steal it, because that's all busted up. And people say, hey, is he stealing that thing? No, it's my truck, dang it. Where are we sitting at? About five-eighths of a tank. We'll probably be at a quarter tank by the time we get to the shop. I have enjoyed having this truck, guys. There's a few reasons. Uh, the six liters, these things are not torque monsters, okay? So let's be clear about that. Uh, but y'all know I was doing every bit of my towing with the uh, with the travel all. So compared to towing with the travel all, yes, this is not a bad tow rig, guys. Uh, but having the crew cab, I've loved that. I can haul a family in here. We've done it a couple times now. And uh, that is nice. So I'm going to double verify because I don't think it's that one. It may, I hope it's this one. Better be that one. It's the one I ordered the part for. Uh, let's see here. 
Yeah, you can hear it in there. Uh, but no dice. It ain't, oh, a little crunchy. We better stop. So to get started here, uh, we gotta pop this, you know what, looking kind of piece out of here, trim piece. And uh, I think we gotta pop this off here if I do remember correctly. And then, yeah, screw down in there. Somewhere else, right down there, there's another one. Uh, I do know that these doors kind of like lock down in there. So after we get that out, uh, we'll probably try to pull a window switch too. Uh, I think because the wiring's shorter. So if we could just disconnect it, then we're not trying to pull this floppy with it holding that and yanking on our wiring. So let's figure out what we need there. That looks bigger than quarter, but not quite a 5 16th. So let's looky here and see what size we do believe we need. Uh, nine thirty seconds is between them, so we'll see if the old eagle eye is right. Yeah, that's too big. It wasn't five sixteenths. That's too small. It's got to be this one, or it's metric. I don't know. We'll, we'll take that. As y'all see, my new little Dewalt sets came in. Uh, I told y'all in the one video I was gonna get some of these uh, for this toolbox. Uh, they've changed it up some. These ratchets are not built the same as the old ones were. Uh, them old ones were really fine and that sucker there it ain't near as fine as the old ones were so of course they they sell them for the same price but they started making them cheaper i just call it like i see it and we probably don't need our extension there this right here would probably be just dandy and we probably need a screwdriver which speaking of which uh did i how did i lose a screwdriver already i've used them once I don't know guys, I used that sucker yesterday. It should be right here. Yep, that ain't good. I'm gonna go for the long skinny. Oh, and if you haven't seen that second channel video, we built this little uh, charging station here with the light that indicates on top. Uh, kind of cool, so if you ain't, uh, ain't synced it, you may wanna check that unit out. It's gonna drive me crazy not knowing where I put that screwdriver yesterday. I was priding myself in cleaning up. I just don't know where I cleaned up and put the tools, perfect. Let's see here. Hopefully we can do some popping, but not do some breaking. Just want to pop that out of there. Toss it in the seat. This looks halfway popped out of here. Maybe someone's been in here before. Yeah, that clip didn't have hardly any uh, tension on it. Mm -hmm. So we just slide that off. Let's see, inspection time. No, well, nothing's broke. I think that clip was just already popped. Then let's see if the eagle eye was right. No, it's right. That was right. I just can't get that out of there. There we go. Put it on the shop floor where we run it over and get a flat tire. Oh, got it. And this is the one I don't want to be tearing nothing up. Please come out of there. Please come out of there and don't break. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come to Sweet Papa. Oh, yeah. Right on out of there. Uh, looks like we got retaining clip right there. Oh, and there's our little window switch. Now, if memory serves me correctly, I think that's it. Hey, yo, hey, yo, we got a door panel. And guys, you do want to be careful with these things because uh, you start breaking clips and stuff. Once them clips start breaking, uh, your world just goes to shit. And that's saying it nicely, okay? I can demonstrate later on our Yukon that, uh, you know, when you got kids, they think they gotta close the door at 3,000 miles per hour. So they pull on that sucker, like, you know, if they don't pull it hard enough, they're gonna die or something. Like, they're fearful for their lives, they pull it so hard. What I'm getting at is, you barely shut the door in our Yukon now, and that whole door panel's like, <laughs> falls off there. Now, I'm you see I'm blaming that on the kids, but I also told you when I first got it, I put a window regulator on it. So that has nothing to do with me breaking the clips, taking all that stuff off a long time ago. Oh yes, I do recall this. Then we make it to our sealed up plastic, which taking that off kind of sucks. I think on the Yukon I cut it and then I taped it back because you can see what that uh, does. It keeps dust and crap out, I guess. Now someone's definitely been in here. We got the Kenwoods, baby. That's why the system be sounding so good when I'm bumping down the streets. Is that sucker even tight? The whole thing's moving. <laughs> I think we're going to try to peel this. That was already off there. Maybe I'll get us a little razor blade and we'll slice at it. 
I bet that stuff, if you press it back together, it'll probably restick itself. I'm not sure why I uh, didn't try that on the Yukon. Uh, probably because I was young and dumb. If it don't want to stick back together, I bet with a little heat, that'd probably motivate it. There's the boss over there. Uh-huh. She's out there lining them out. Look at her go. That's right. You better me measure this right here. Uh-huh. Just playing. Uh, that's a guy who's drawing up some stuff for us. He's a super nice guy. Always got something going on in the background. Man, that's some sticky stuff. Damn tar. <laughs> tar. <laughs> Man, I done got a hole in my tar. Now it's leaking out all the air. Did you see the tars on Jerry's car? Them suckers part near flat. They're so bald. Dang! Did you see the tars on Mark's truck? They got them fatties on there with the white letters out. Them some nice tars. That's how you proper, properly use tar in a sentence. As long as that does restick, that's the way to do that there. Just peel it and run that little razor right through there. Now bring it on down from the top to the bottom. Keep on rocking. Ain't no stopping. Nope, we got a little something going on here. Come on, baby. Oh man, I split it. A little piece right there in the middle. Maybe we can just kind of ball that up on each other enough to get it out the way or something maybe we need to get a little tape here maybe we need a little masking tape we can tape that stuff up the window pretty sure you gotta tape it up as well or you gotta do something to hold it up got some old green tape right there hey that'll work maybe as long as it'll stick to this dusty plastic good enough all right so we're we are pulling the window regulator and that's what actually hold your window up guys so that is this assembly here we got a track i do believe that's our piece that goes up and down and right there yeah you can see that that's a little clamp clamping our window so that holds your window looks like we got the other bolt right there uh down here we got a stud there and then come to this front side looks like we got a bolt there there's our other clamp uh other stud that's holding our two rails or whatever you call them and uh looks like i don't know if we got to pull that one as well pretty sure we got to pull that because this motor assembly is part of all this also the reason i said uh we might have to tape up the window is hey she's already coming down uh but since this is holding up the window and we're taking out them clamps and we're pulling out this whole assembly that window's gonna want to fall down. And we don't want it to fall down, do we? No, says I. So we're gonna do a little tape across the top. We're actually gonna pick that sucker up and then we'll retape it. How's that? Ooh, good quality tape job. Perfect. Now these use it like cables and pulleys, I think. To pick that up and down so i don't know if we've got a broke cable and that's why this sucker's just doing whatever the hell it wants here or what ah this tape ain't no good is it i'm gonna try on the back side instead don't be a dummy like me just go to the back side right here obviously we got this lip we're fighting that gives it leverage to beat us but on the back side the tape lays a lot flatter helping it hold better when I was over there getting tape, I also went and grabbed us a, or earlier, not getting tape. Earlier, I grabbed us a 10 mil because I knew that's what all this was going to be. Ain't no doubt in my mind, you can take apart half this truck with a 10 mil. Window clamp. Mountain bolt. Mountain stud. And together, that's your mountain hardware. Is that it? Uh, kind of looks like it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Push that. Get it off the stud. Got that wiggling. Boop. There that goes. Uh, looks like they both fell off the window as well. Yep. Yeah. Off the window. Off the window. We should be able to wiggle worm that out of there. Oh, better uh, disconnect our uh, wiring first before we do all that. 
Probably should have pulled that before I just dropped that, but no big deal. Uh, we can use our thumb and not get it. Got them old weak hands on me. Here we go, just pop that sucker. Now she should come out to play. There we go. Oh man, gotta get y'all looking at me. Gotta get you looking at me. For this side, let me shove it back in there. Take it up top, top left, go in there, and then you can pull that down out of there. And you can see some of our cables that crisscross whatever. There we go, pull that sucker out of there. And I'm guessing, I don't know much about these, but maybe that ain't supposed to be so floppy. Maybe it is. The uh, parts house are delivering to me. And uh, my GPS, it's fun, or our location is fun. Uh, if you put in my address, it actually tries to take you to other people's houses, which I kind of like. Uh, keeps me incognito. Uh, but anyhow, hopefully they find me to bring me my oil in that regulator. So speaking of oil and waiting on them, as we wait on them, well, we can just drain the oil. Get started on that side of things. A couple drain pans in there, but the other one, I think's out here in the back of this pick-em-up truck bed. That's been empty, but we've been getting some rain, so she's probably plumb full of water. Oh, look, I used the, the funnel to protect it. Protect it from, yeah, right, that thing's plumb full. It does look like water, though. That's good. Sometimes your, uh, your drain pan just needs a good washing. When we moved, guys, I had so much old oil behind the uh, old shop. I think Slate called off. He was going and taking it to all the different parts stores, divvying it up among them, because each one would only take like five gallons. But we uh, he got one store talked into like 15 gallons. <laughs> uh, we ha he, he hauled off probably 20 to 25 gallons of used oil. Let's get us some ratchet and wrenches for the plug. And an oil filter wrench here. Probably want a few of these. That's a few, looks like to me. Hey, look what someone sent out magnetic toolbox labels that are bigger better and stronger drive tools metric sockets i'm sure it has everything in there that would be kind of cool i was about to have my wife come out here and label this sucker up but that's nice because as we adjust on that we can move those with it if we decide to switch anything up so thank you to whoever uh, sent those on out i need to uh, put us a cord end on this this was the cable that used to power a welder at the old shop guys i had that it's like 40 foot long, 45 foot long. I had it wired straight out of our uh, breaker panel over there. And here, I'm gonna just use it as an extension cord for our stuff. And then, yeah, I need to do that and find something where to hang it in here where we can get our creeper and not have to move it. So right here is how you change oil right next to a perfectly good lift. Step one, get your drain pan. Step two, get all other necessary tools. Step three, get rid of your hat. You're gonna. It's gonna fall off, you're gonna roll it over with a creeper, get wedged, get stuck or something. So just get rid of it. Pull! Step four, do the shimmy shake underneath that rig. Oh, can't even fit through there. That's all right, cause uh, here I got something I ain't ever had before, which is concrete you can actually roll around on and not accidentally drive into the Grand Canyon. What do you mean? This big ass truck and I can't fit underneath them frame rails? What in the 12 inch frame rail we got going on here, huh? I've shimmied underneath the Yukon. I thought surely I could get underneath this sucker on the creeper. Step 19, ditch the creeper. I forgot we had a transfer case and stuff like that. Are you shitting me? Oh boy. Uh, one, that is not a good sign. We got blue sealant on here, which does not excite me. Number two, how in the world are you supposed to drain that and it just not blast your whatever this is? That it's a damn Cadillac converter. So we're gonna drain that. It's gonna go all over this, and then we get to smell like roasted oil. Oh boy, this is not looking good. I should have inspected this thing closer before I bought it, uh, because before they s slammed it, they framed it. And I don't know how I feel about that. Please let this go good. Please let this go good. Please let this go good. Of course, our battery had it as we were wiggle wormed underneath there. So I got us some cardboard, got our tape, and got us a flagell flashlight from our charging station a small attempt to uh, deflect some of that oil we're gonna wrap some cardboard on that sucker all right here we go 
the blue stuff came off pretty easy or it seemed to break free. I mean, so maybe that was just like a little thread sealing or something. I don't know. I don't worry about that stuff. I let my oil drip out the drain plug like a real man. Here comes the mess. Oh, cardboard deflector for the win. Shoot, that's doing pretty good. I'm gonna start selling them kits on my website. Yep, she looked like she's due for an oil change. That's for certain. Not the prettiest looking oil I've ever seen. And I'm an innovator, guys, as that was uh, starting to just barely run out like that. It was actually getting on our little uh, shield here, and then it was starting to go everywhere on the shield. So I ripped that cardboard off here that protected that from oil that I just grabbed and put oil on. That's smart. Uh, and I put it that away. A little piece of cardboard and tape does the trick underneath here. Just don't grab the exhaust afterwards and put oil on it like you were originally trying to prevent. I know it's kind of hard to see, but right there's the oil filter. I'm going to work at getting it next. Apparently, we got a special delivery right now. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. I ordered us a belt sander online, uh, but there's a big box over in our garage at the house that I thought was the belt sander, but I ain't even tried to move the box. You know, sometimes people ship stuff. I put the smallest thing in a, in a big old box or something. So maybe this is actually the belt sander. Maybe I ordered some stuff and I'm forgetful and I buy stuff twice sometimes. Uh, hopefully that's not the case. But that being said, some Dewalt batteries showed up this morning I ordered online that I totally forgot about uh, after I bought some in person. Now you can never have too many batteries so I ain't upset. Next in the video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get a free van replaced. <laughs> That driver's super awesome. He's actually delivered to me a few times out here, guys. And uh, yeah, like I said, the GPS took him to a different spot, took O'Reilly's to a different spot. That's my defense mechanism. I did that on purpose. No one can find me. <laughs> and that worked out, uh, especially since we got our oil stuff. We'll just get our filter ready to go in. I'm so thankful for the people I deal with on a regular basis, like that big rig driver. I don't, I've had, I've, I think I've met him twice before. He said only once, but he remembered the travel all had an LS in it. So I know we've met each other. Super nice guy. Like all of our, all of our parts delivery drivers and everyone, everyone's so cool and nice. And I'm just so thankful that, uh, like to have just good people show up to bring me stuff. No one in a crab apple mood, nothing like that. You know, just positive people. I like it. If I talk to people and all they got to say is how bad everything is, then I usually, uh, I don't know, I don't have a long conversation. That's a good way of saying it. That's why me and Mordsky ain't really friends no more, guys, because he's just always so angry. I'm going to try to use my cardboard to uh, catch most of this oil as well. Y'all probably can't see very well. Try to get y'all a money shot there. You can see it's draining down it, hitting that cardboard and coming right down to our drain pan. Working out nice. And here comes a little more. Now she's a flowing and a going. That old dirty oil's just a showing. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. Same thing, run that uh, oily hand all over that exhaust. After you grab that right down there, yeah, you see all that oil I spilt? Uh, that is from our new filter. I knocked it over, that was smart. Once she finished draining off gas, of course we just thread that new one right back on. Uh, I did wet the seal before I went up there, or before I put it up there. Oil all over, it's gonna make her nice and easy to uh, tighten up here. And I did forget to bring my paper towels back down here with me. And pull our cardboard. Main reason I uh, forgot to uh, grab our rags was because I really enjoy crawling in and out of here. Uh, next up, drain plug. Actually, let's look at this sucker. Maybe it don't even have a gasket on it. Well, there's rubber on there. Get our plug started. Uh, I was really scared that was gonna be like half damn cross-threaded or something once I seen all that blue goop. So I'm definitely happy it was not. Torque that sucker. And we are gonna come right over here. Hey, there's the oil rags I needed. But we're also gonna get us some TKO hand cleaning wipes by the sweet patina. Cause this stuff is good at breaking stuff down. So we'll take it down there. Oh man, got too many. Just kinda stuff that one back there like that ain't happen, you know? 
This stuff is good at breaking stuff down, like that oil, boom, gone, all right? So we'll take it down there and maybe wipe on our exhaust, that skid plate, skid plate a little bit. I sounded like damn, uh, what's the cat from the Looney Tunes? Salvester. Now just a minute, let's get organized. Oh, and snug that up good. That's tight enough. That's with my left hand, so I guarantee you it ain't very tight because I'm a little weak-handed man, especially when it comes to old lefty. Then we'll take our hand cleaning wipe. We're gonna get as much of this oil off the stuff as we can. We're trying to keep her a pristine rig here. This is definitely the nicest uh, newer vehicle I've ever owned. So we're just gonna give her a little Premier 11 here and try to uh, keep her as clean as we can. This is also the only newer four-wheel drive I've ever owned. And boy, is that crap packed in here, huh? Let's pop that old hood. Look at all the bugs on the front of this rig. We definitely want to put our oil in right away uh, before we forget. I got plenty of funnels to choose from, but I don't think one of them's clean. She's pretty filthy, and that's about the cleanest one we got to choose from. Give her a little pot county polish here. And she's ready for a little oil oil chugging. Uh, 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 oil chugging. Do the oil chug. Do the oil chug. Give her one quart worth. I'm gonna get every drip drop out of there too. I'm gonna get my, my pennies worth here. And here we come with the big mama. Good thing we had that funnel or we would have been in bad shape, guaranteed. Old girl was definitely thirsty. She wanted some new oil in her. Here we go. Slap the cap right back on. And next we're gonna put the old stuff in the jug here. But to do that, since I always seem to make a mess, we are gonna come over here to our rock opposed to our shop floor. Here's how to make a mess. Sometimes that funnel pops out and uh, we get a, get a little sloppy. Time. She was definitely a little low on oil, guys. All of that just fit in our five quart jug and she's supposed to have six in her. Next, we're gonna turn that on. Why we got windshield wipers on? What is going on here? I thought you turn that on, then you go one, two, three, and it resets oil. Don't do diddly. That sucker don't light up unless you start it or what? It just quit working? What in tarnation is going on here? Uh-huh. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> I, saw, I know it was working last night. I looked at the miles last night on this thing. Well, we're gonna quit worrying about that. I'll mess with it later. Who knows, maybe it's something stupid like your window motors unplug so the odometer don't work. That makes sense. I don't wanna worry about it right now. We'll just uh, keep pushing on with our little window regulator. If that thing just broke, I'm not going to be a happy individual. I will be thoroughly upset. So here's our new one. We got that baby zip tied together to hold it. Snip, snip. And as far as putting this in there, I think it's going to just be reverse process. So we're going to go start by wiggling it up in there. Now this motor looks a lot less, uh, not as beefy as that one does. I can tell you that much, just eyeballing it. Look at the casing on that one there. And then look at this one, little baby. So we know these need to be up. We need to be able to get to the nut. The motor needs to be on that side. So basically we know it needs to go in there just like that. I just kind of reversed the way I pulled it out of there. It went right back in, no problem. Got a couple caps on our studs to protect the threads. We'll pull them off and use that to kind of line us up here. Oh, there's a, a bolt in that too. So I'm gonna start our nut where we don't lose that down there. Then I'll just pull that bolt out, drop it, of course. And uh, then, oh, that sounded terrible. But that lines right up just like we should need it. There's one bolt, bolt, and 
there's two. All right, the next thing we gotta do is get this sucker clamped up to our window. A little issue with that is that this one's not broke. So the last one, our cable was broke and it gives us some uh, play with it. This one, it's not broke. So we need to probably plug this sucker back in here. About like so. And then we need to plug this back in. Uh-oh, trash is flying, trash is flying. Not today, you don't trash. I got heaters for legs on me, guys, and I was about to turn on that speed. Luckily, that bag knew better than to run from me because I was going to catch it. Uh, plug our switch back in. We'll turn our key on. We still ain't got an odometer. What the hell, smell? But hopefully, we can pick up on this because we got to get our clamps up to our window. So we'll probably loosen these first. Get them loose, loose. Here we go, bumper switch up. And we've got nothing. And we've got nothing here. Hold on, no, we got that. There we go. The lock was just on up there. So as you'll see, I just bumped that sucker up. That gets our uh, clamps onto our window. Tighten those down. Then we can pull our tape off. That way we can actually try to cycle our glass. Going down. Hey yo, we're gonna have a work in the rear glass again here. Hot Rod's gonna be super excited. She likes having them windows down. In fact, Hot Rod and Mama had just left here and they pulled up here and I told her, I said, hey, daddy's fixing your window for you. And she looked over here and she seen the door panel pulled off and she said, dad, that's your new truck. You done broke it and tore it up. I said, no, girl, I got to fix that window for you. And uh, I don't know, I guess she doubted my ability to fix the window. Honestly, she's just nervous the door panel's going to end up like the one in the Yukon. Let's be honest here. <laughs> All right, guys, now that we know that it's working, uh, we're going to unplug her switch again and just go reverse operation. Switch. Pull the tape. Take the plastic. Put it back. Looks so good, almost gave me a heart attack. Yeah, that stuff just mashes right back to itself, don't it? Don't it? All right, went all the way around. Uh, that all seems to be holding good, which makes me happy. So as we go to do our door panel, uh, be sure to fish your wiring up for your uh, window switch. And that should kind of sit up high. Got to get our clip started. Oh yeah, I wasn't high enough. There we go. Somewhere up in there, we're going to find the sweet spot for this door panel. I said somewhere up in there, we're going to find the sweet spot for this door panel. There it is. There it is. I felt all of them go in. And that door panel clicks to all of that, guys. Makes it solid. So we just put our hardware back in. trim ring there we go window switch goes right back in and of course our little lock switch pusher button thingy majigger come on don't be on right now everything's going good don't be on right now we like that oh yeah way more gooder guys uh yeah the one day it felt really good and i Went to put down all the windows to cruise and I never tested the windows when I bought this thing. So all the windows come down and this thing was like clack, 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 and made a little popping noise and dropped down some. And I was like, oh boy, she's in bad shape, ain't she? Uh, if you want to put all the windows down, you don't have the same cruising effect when you only get three windows. So yeah, I rolled the windows back up that day because I looked like an idiot with one being rolled up. Now we can look cool as can be cruising. Uh, mainly hot rod's gonna be happy. Now our tools for this, I'm actually not gonna put up and here's why. Several of y'all know Nathan as our merchandise helper, a great kid. He drives a 2000 single cab Chevy, little red pickup. And in the old videos from time to time, you probably could have seen it in the background if you were paying attention. Well, his passenger side power windows, it's messed up too. And I told him before I would help him fix it as I was putting that together. I remembered that about his, so I just called him and I told him I'd get the part here. And if he gets free at some point today, 
uh, and our schedules mesh, then he can swing by and we'll just knock it out real quick. I need to wipe down that door panel. I did get her a little dirty. Uh, but something else old genius here needs to fix is our odometer. And uh, yeah, I think I know the problem of the odometer, guys. Main problem is uh, sometimes I just make dumb decisions or I forget to use my brain. And at, what I mean by that is when I'd open these doors, all the lights were on. So I started messing with switches up there, uh, trying to figure out how to turn these dome lights off when I was in here working. And uh, if I was a betting man, I would bet that I turned down the little switch that brightens your interior lights or dome lights messing with stuff. Uh, in fact, I know I hit that switch. I just don't remember if I put it back or not. I think I dimmed our lights and that's why uh, the odometer's not working. Shoo, got her looking like a 10 out of 10. About to scrub on all these doors. About to shop back this rig out too. We're gonna she perk near a show truck at this point. She definitely needs a cleaned out. Let's see here, that thing right there. Hey, looky there. Trip B, engine hours, odometer. There she is. Let's just reset trip A here. Well, don't tell me to change my oil anymore. So to do that, guys, you just turn on your key. Don't start it. Uh, cycle your throttle pedal three times, and it should reset the oil life cycle on these things. I actually am going to go around here and uh, do a little little scrubbing and cleaning on these door panels, guys, real quick. Uh, mainly dust on them, but they do got a little nasty here or there. Now, Sweet Patina don't sell them hand cleaning wipes as an interior wipe, but I will, because I took one wipe and hit every door panel, the dash, the center console, and got it looking pretty good in there. Now, that being said, I'm not a detailer. My standard's pretty damn low, guys. Uh, but I was impressed with how far one of them suckers just went. Uh, now, I want to shop back it out, but first we need to change the shop back's diaper. I'm scared to open it. Ooh, boy, howdy. Look at that. Nasty. I think we're going to take that truck and wash it. The back is nasty, guys. I don't remember what I threw back there, but I plum covered it in dirt. Like down the tailgate on the bumper and stuff. Then all them bugs on the front. Uh, yeah. Oh, precision machinery, huh? About 150 pounds worth. We're just gonna store that there for now. Uh, I need to pick a day and put it together. I don't know if we're gonna set that on. Uh, I don't wanna keep stuff just sat on our little weld table over there. I noticed out at the Harbor Freight, they got a little toolbox with a bench top kind of thing or more of a storage shelf with a bench top. We may need to get one of them to put this bench sander on then our wire wheel on, then we'd have good storage underneath there for sand and disc and whatever, you know? Just gotta decide where we're gonna put it. We may have to bring her over here by the old evergreen. I don't know, that'll be a future project. Uh, I'm gonna head towards the car wash. Nope, I'm lying again. Guys, I've been bad. Actually, I ain't been bad. In the last two weeks, I ain't hardly got Taco Boy at all. In two weeks, I didn't eat it. Uh, but I did grab a burrito yesterday, and I am going to grab one again today, okay? I'm feeling naughty. She's a pretty good-looking truck overall, guys. Uh, pretty clean. has got little dense dings, little paint chip here or there, whatever. But overall, she's a pretty good-looking rig. Uh, it does look like it skipped leg day because it's got the tiny little tires on it. Uh, I think, in my opinion, on like the... I don't like, like the big over the top lifted trucks i like usually when people like level the front lift it whatever necessary to get the front sitting level and then go with the slightly bigger than factory tire but on a factory wheel and then with like tinted the tinted windows and debadged and stuff that's how i've always kind of liked the the newer rigs uh, i'm just curious let's say this truck was yours uh what would you do level the front a little bit bigger tire like i kind of just described i don't know why i'm putting it up for option if i do it's either going to stay exactly how it is or if people would maybe watch some of that you know we may we may entertain doing that i don't know nothing about lifting the front of these but i'm sure we could do it apparently everyone wanted to wash their car today the car wash is full 
Ooh, he power washing that truck with them white slippers on. Your shoes are gonna be nasty, bud. I have them old splish splash shoes. That dirt's gonna kick up and get on them shoes. All right, let's do a little scrub in here, guys. I soaked it, I brushed it with a little foam brusher. Now we're gonna rinse it. Hit this baby a little tire shine before we leave here. Maybe they'll be looking slick by the time we get where we're going. I think I've owned this truck for three months now. Maybe longer, hell, I don't know. So let's see. She's due for a quarterly or a thirdly. I don't know how you say third, thirdly. Uh, washing a year, I guess. Well, all right, guys, there she is. Uh, I slung most of that foam off the tires. Coming back here, uh, I'll see what's going on because we got damn utilities plum everywhere out here. Uh, anyhow, just hit her with some more tire foam, got home, and uh, yeah, old truck's looking pretty good. She definitely has a little hot rod stance to her. She's got some rake, uh, and those tires do look absolutely tiny compared to the truck. <laughs> But that don't matter. Uh, what matters is she's got fresh oil change, so we can be driving it. Uh, that popped up the other day, so I didn't want to drive it no more than I had to uh, until we got that changed. And big deal being the window. Uh, that bugged me because everything seems to work on that truck. And then there's that one window, and I knew they weren't that big of a deal to change, uh, so I'm glad we knocked it out. Now, I'm supposed to be meeting Mama and Hot Rod in 30 minutes or so at the paint place we gotta decide on some paint for these poles uh that we're gonna be painting or whatever and after that i'm gonna swing by the parts house grab the window regulator for nathan's truck and i'm gonna try to get with him later and knock that out for him but other than that i've got to get with all these uh companies that are out here marking our place uh it looks like gas put yellow paint against across my driveway again i appreciate that looks looks awesome i've got to figure out some of our plumbing and electrical i gotta get the ball rolling there uh the people who's involved with all my stuff have asked me to get the ball rolling there for a couple weeks now uh and instead of just pushing and trying to get a ton done today being overwhelmed busy uh, yesterday and today i tried to do two shorter second channel videos where i knew i could get my stuff done on time uh, doing two this week gets me ahead a week for editing, which is good. Uh, last week, our process got us a week ahead on the main channel, and all of that makes life easy uh, for for the process, guys. Uh, now, other than that, later, I didn't wash the back glass. I'll be damned. <laughs> I straight forgot to wash it. We can get it with a rag, don't worry. And now we'll get it next time, another three or four months. I'm going to go get the wagon from the other shop, too. It's still at the old place, uh, so I need to get that wagon. And we got to get a couple more house keys made. We keep all getting locked out because we're trying to share keys. So, yeah, I got enough little piddly stuff to do uh, to keep me busy the rest of the afternoon, helping keep the behind the scenes rolling around here. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Maybe you need to do one on yours, and hopefully that helps someone out. Or hopefully you at least got one laugh at some point in the video. Uh, Damn it, I need my keys where I can get in this shop to get me some water because I'm about to shrivel up like a raisin. Uh, Puddingsfabshop.com for that good quality merchandise. We should be dropping Halloween shirts soon. Since this is going to be a week ahead, they probably are out. I'll just check the website. But the way stuff's been selling out, they may not be there. I don't know, guys. It's a roll of the dice around here. We appreciate all y'all support there at puddingsfabshop.com. I'm on the Instagrammer. I'm on the Patreon. And I'm on a mission to get the rest of my stuff done today. So, I will see you guys next time. However, do not forget, sitting on your ass, you won't finish your project. Uh, I, could go sit in, I could go sit on mine the rest of the day if I wanted. Nope, we got a bunch of stuff to do here. Hot damn, there's so much bs -ery. We had to start a whole channel for all the extras. Be sure to go check out Puddin's Fab Shop if you ain't seen that baby yet. Come on! I don't know why I think y'all can see back here.